Hey, spooky monastery guys. I'm here. Oh, that's not a good hit. So we're here. Please land a hit. Oh, whoo, whoo. Wow, I killed the other guy through him. That was interesting. So I'm back here at the cathedral where we fought the, uh, the Vicar or Vicar boss. Oh, that guy's just wandering off. Okay. So we can go left or right from here. And right took us to those hunters. Left took us somewhere else. Never got to fully explore where those go. Both of them seem to be paths that take us somewhere. So we may as well explore deeper. Yes, I know there's a path also behind the Shadow of Yarnum, which we fought. I believe it was called Shadow of Yarnum. It was the Shadow anyway. And we'll get to that later, but that zone is part of the forest area, which is the second tombstone. So I figure that's later game stuff, arguably. So while we did explore that area and kill the Shadow character, I should probably fill, finish any loose ends we left around here, which is part of the reason why I took the time to go and do the uh, the, the medicinal ward or medicinal the, uh, the healing workshop. There we go. That we did last episode, and that's where we've left off more or less. And that thing looks horrifying. Well, we're gonna have to be careful here. I don't want to get surprised. We seem especially set up to be surprised. Our best, our best chance of not getting surrounded by surprise things is probably to hug a wall. Hey, buddy. Die. I'm hearing... I'm hearing noises that I don't like. Is that an ambush? What happened? What? What? Did you just shoot a gun at me? Did this dog shoot at me a second ago? Well, it's dead. Ah. Do the hunters have freaky dogs here? Uh-oh. That thing looked nasty. There's some tentacle thing with giant eyes. Oh, hello, friend. Uh, nope. The power of the quick dodge. Where's the creepy tentacle thing? This would be a good time to introduce our new trick, everybody. So, everybody say hello to our new friend. Yeah. So, this weapon is... Ludwig's Holy Blade. So, full disclosure, I did some off-screen grinding so I could be able to wield this thing because I need the, the, the 16 strength required to even wield it in the first place. Uh, it's got B scaling with strength, B, scale, B scaling with arcane, C scaling with uh, dexterity. So it actually, funnily enough, despite being so dex heavy in my build, it actually has more overall p bonus points from scaling than my current whip does. And it's f it's fun because it's just like a nice quick little sword. Yeah, look at this little thing. But then it's got a fun trick, which I'll show you in a second here. Ow! Okay, you scary, you scary. All right. Oh, I missed. Oop. Jump attack. There we go. Bury that fool. Bury that fool. Uh, he's a nasty little fucker, isn't he? Alright, so yeah, it has a great sword mode. That's his transformation, is the sword just clips right into its own sheath and goes vroom. And now nah, I'm a great sword. Surprise. So, you'll notice it's a two-handed weapon. Some of the transforming weapons are not two-handed weapons. For example, this whip. Blam! It's still a one-handed weapon, which means I can still fire my gun, which is clearly my side weapon right there. And this is a one-handed weapon once in sword mode, but when it's in great sword mode, bam, two hands. So the gun goes on my back, <coughs> and then I sneeze comically. So R1, this is the this is the light or fast attack combo. And I'm out of stamina. That's what you have to watch out for this thing. It has a right trigger, so forward right trigger is a jump, like always. Hold down right trigger for a charge attack. Which is really slow, but actually really damaging too. And then, left trigger instead of the gun is a vertical slash, which you can chain a little bit in a combo. That's a nice three hit combo. Or at least it's the most combo I can get out of it with my current... My current number of, uh... My current number of, uh... Of stamina points. Keep an eye out for any surprises. Hello, friend. I saw you shooting at me earlier. You're gonna have to pay the price. <laughs> now this would, be, this would be a fun thing to fight Gascon with, like... Yo, dog, you heard about my reach? There's a few weapons in this game that are two-handed in their seconds phase. I don't know what all of them are. I would I would expect the Kirk Hammer to be because it's a really big hammer, so I, you probably don't one-hand that. But I know that the Hunter's Axe is two-handed because I, I, uh, my co-op character you guys will be seeing more of is using a two-handed, is using that, that Kirk Hammer. Is there a path up here? I'm hearing gunshots. Am I wearing my headphones on right? Nope, my headphones are backwards again. Da -da 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 -da. Headphones are in the right order ears now. It's kind of a big deal. <laughs> if you're gonna try to gauge, if you're, to, if you're gonna try to tell what direction a gunshot came from, you kind of have to have your headphones on straight. Otherwise, you're just screwing yourself. Hey, buddy, how's it going? I, I, it's fine. You don't have to answer me. I'll just come back later. 
Oh, I can't pick up. Oh God! Why do you keep explosives in your graveyard? What's wrong with you people? I guess they were getting ready for a cremation. Ow! So there's a lot of guys with guns around here, is what I'm getting. All right, let's go into sword mode. But yeah, people want so people wanted variety in in uh, weapon styles. Here you go. It took a while off camera. Hopefully, it doesn't affect my video output. Huh. Ooh, look at that nice damage from that one hit. Ow. Give me those hit points back. They're mine. You don't get to have them. So can I pick up any of these items? We're getting maxed up on maxed out on ammo and pebbles. And sometimes even uh, blood vials, which makes, means that uh, we often can't pick up those items anymore. Which is annoying, because they, the they stay in the environment forever. I mean, not forever, but for a while. Is that the guy that fought? That's the guy I fought earlier. Does he have a respawn timer, or does he just have a scripted spawning event that happens when you approach? Because he's spooky scary. That's an unsettling creature. Is he coming for me? Hey, buddy. How's it going? How you doing over there? Ow! You have fun being a horrible monster demon? Charge attack! Ow. Okay, yeah, charge attack is too slow for this dude. He's a big nasty fucker. Charge attack! Oh, it deflected. <laughs> I, I kind of thought it would clip through that. Hit him. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so disappointing when it doesn't land. There we go. And, oh, didn't quite finish him off. There we go. It's a fun, strong weapon. It's definitely interesting. Noticeably, it does, uh, how much damage? So it does 160 plus 148 versus 120 plus 122. So it does 40 base damage more than Threaded Cane, despite being the same level right now. And it does 26 more bonus damage for a total of 36 overall extra damage. It's kind of a big deal, really. Interestingly, I was going through my gems, and uh, I have an item that makes you continually heal, and I've... I have a gem that makes you constantly re regenerate hit points. And I've heard that you can actually, uh... They're just gonna stand there? I think they're just gonna stand there. Am I hearing noises? I've heard that if you put one of those gems in your offhand weapon, that it'll actually continually, continually heal you while it's not being used. Or maybe you can switch to it to heal uh, in between fights. Uh, it's an interesting concept, but in this case, I don't... I kind of like the idea of having weapons that are useful. I don't really want to equip myself with a weapon that I'm not going to use. So, I'm not going to be doing, be doing health regeneration via a rune right now. Because unfortunately, the only one I have also makes your weapon f do fire damage. And that is a significant reduction in the overall damage of the weapon. It's like, now all the weapon damage is fire instead of normal. And you basically lose 100 damage overall. And granted... Some enemies may have weakness to fire that's substantial enough to make that worthwhile. It's really bothering me to have so many un items not picked up in the environment. Is that an enemy over there? No. It's, a lot of these trees are perfectly shaped to look to sort of suggest that there's an enemy like just right there. But that's just kind of the shape of the tree. It's freaking me out, man. Why they gotta play me that way, man? So. Oh my god! I don't like that at all. Daddy, get out of my face. Yep, dodge. Pass attack. There we go. So yeah, we're seeing the we're seeing the, the what's nice about being able to go back and forth between uh, great sword and regular sword mode. I guess great sword and short sword mode, you could call it. So just another guy with a gun hanging out, being a dick. I'll show him a dick. I mean, that's not what I meant. Uh, there we go. Bye. It was the last dick you ever saw. Uh, what's it say? Long weapon is effect. Oh, what a coincidence. I have two long weapons. So they're both funsies. So yeah, I can just switch between these whenever I want. Have some nice versatility between movesets. So I have... means I have a great sword and a whip and a strong weapon. Hey, buddy. I don't want to alarm you, but I've already killed two of your friends. So I'm not too concerned. Although you are probably more dangerous than any of the other guys around here. Kind of was hoping he would aggro midway through that. Look. Obviously let my animation end a little early that time. To intercept him. That's what I need to do, is just accept it when I'm not going to be able to get the whole charge off in time. Hey, buddy. Ow! Okay, he has better reach than I was quite expecting. Ow! Rude. Lucky for me, I have blood vials, though I'm burning through them faster than I really should be. That's called, that's called fucking up. But anyway, here's some nice weapon variety. This will be an experience. 
fear man beast. What's a man beast? I mean, besides the, most of the things in this game. Are we immediately fighting a boss? Or just like a, de a thing? What's gonna happen? There's a camp down here. <gasps> it's the dancing guy! Hem oh, Hammer Colonel Lane. These guys... Those guys don't like company. It's the dancing guy! Yay! That's like one of the two things I saw when I saw promotional work of this game in advance. I saw a, an old man in a wheelchair shooting, trying to shoot people. Ooh, uh, we have a, a lamp here. Awesome. I saw a, a wheelchair guy with a lamp. I mean, I saw, I saw the guy in a wheelchair trying to shoot people. I saw the uh, werewolf in the opening area that's strung up and burning. And here, we have the weird dancing guys that have like a cleaver and a torch. And they're just sort of spinning and having a good old time. They're such such great people. They're good. They're good neighbors. You gotta live in. You gotta move into a neighborhood that has good neighbors. That's how you. That's how you stay happy. So they're crazy, probably. So, oh, is just guys camping around around here? Is that person hostile? Oh, he's hostile. And now he dead hostile. Hey, buddy, how's it going? You having a good time? Just gonna cleave you real quick. Wow, this weapon's strong. This weapon is strong. Hey guys, you having a good old time around here? Being fucking lunatics, I guess. Up. Oh, I was about to say women and children first, but you didn't let you didn't let me hit the girl yet. All right. Uh, there was another one over there, I think. Let's be careful. Where'd he go? There he is. I see you. You ain't trick. Oh, look at that big nasty thing. I don't want you to use that weapon at all. What is that thing? That is just the nastiest. Oh, this poor person. He didn't, they didn't finish executing him. I feel like we have to fix that or something. What's the item? Bloodshot eye. Oh, that's a... That's a chalice dungeon item. I'm trying to space those out and not do them constantly, because there's a certain repetition to them that's not super exciting. And also, we've got to make some progress with the main game, too. It's interesting trying to figure out how to balance the different, mechan the different elements of progression in this game and figure out what order to do things in... Lanterns just kind of hanging out around the floor. Freaky gravestones and stuff. What's around here? Is there a trap? Something gonna fall on me? Oh, I'd recognize that type of lamp. Those incense anywhere. That means someone's. That, there's someone in that window. Also, an item over here. Madman's knowledge. Is this, this a dead end or a direction? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Sounds I don't like. Hearing sounds I don't like. There's just something down there, maybe? So it looks like we're later gonna find a shortcut that's gonna take us back up here. And they conveniently located this window to, ha to be noticed if you happen to find this place that way. Anyway, hello kind sir or ma'am, or monster that is not very kind. Well. I might go with the third one. I think that's just gonna repeat. All right, well. They're having a grand old time inside that building. Everyone's healthy and safe. And there's a, I didn't even see this. Was this woman here the whole time? I did not notice her. Get out of here. Get out of here. Be crazy somewhere else in a different plane of existence because you're dead. I came from that way, I assume. Yeah, right. Okay. And that's a dead end, probably. I don't think there's anything stashed around this corner. Nope. Things are getting spooky scary. It's an unpleasant place to be. Oh, oh, it's just one of these guys. I'll be fine. Hey, buddy. Could you notice me, please? I don't really feel like equipping pebbles just for you. I'll be... Come on, and charge! Yes, I actually got it off. And... Oh. Okay, I need... Oh, God. I need to move. Ow. So, flurry of blows. I was not able to get out of that one. Ow, dogs are mean. They make everything worse for me. Blood Echoes Retrieved. Hey, big nasty. How you doing? You having a good old time? Just gonna start... Just gonna start cleaving you apart. You gotta pay for your sins. Alright, now I'm ready for this guy. Fast sword mode. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Ow. Ow. Really? Dick. Give me a look. Oh, here comes the dog. Here comes the dog now. Here to be a, the worst thing. There we go. The dog's the real threat. Everyone else is just not a big deal. I'll show you an overhead swing. Oh, wow. I was out of range. 
I was no longer out of range. Yeah. You roll down that stairs. Get down there. Get down. Get off my... No, nope. it's my stairs. Alright, I rolled wrong. Fuck it. Too much work. Moving forward. Need to get up to Mr. Fireball douche. Is there, th is there anything hidden around here? Uh, oh. Staircase over here. Probably go leads to Fireball douche. Oh, oh, hammer douche. There's... Oh god, this is the douche power hour. Okay. Hi, hammer. How you doing? No, ow. Why fire? Why? Hit him. Oh god. He's dodging. And maybe a woman, judging by that voice. Ow. I can't really tell what happened there, but I assume it worked out for me. Stop it. How many Molotovs do you have? Bottles are relatively large objects. You can't carry that many of them around. You're just cheating. That's not how physics works. How dare you. Now get down there. Get down. Bye. Oh. Didn't really go down. Go down. Get off my ledge. Yes. Down you go. With your surprisingly... The surprisingly effective dress physics. Anything stashed down there? Nope. I have no idea where I'm going right now. I mean, obviously there's only one direction forward. I just don't know what's in store. Hey, buddy. I haven't seen one of you since I got my strength weapon. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> And that's how you miss. I thought she was going to keep charging at me. Hey, buddy. Bye. It's super effective. If you do that with a hunter's axe, he just goes sailing, which is not something you'd expect from such a large enemy. You would not expect to be able to knock him back with any weapon. Oh, god damn it. You're all the same color as the environment. So nasty. Zoop. Just gonna, they see me rolling. Nope. Hey, buddy. Nope. Bye. And then you paid for your sins. All right, I'm I'm pretty stocked up on uh on blood vials too. Can, I I assume I can't open this. Doesn't look like I could. Nope. Closed by device. Hey, oh, there's a, one of the axe guys is back there. Not the most scary enemy. They started off being intimidating because you you it was one of the first enemies you could find in the game. But now that I've now that I've established that I could beat one at like level one, finding more later on not that scary. Hello, item. Uh, two twin blood stars. Blood stars, bloodstone shards. There we go. Which is why I needed to upgrade this weapon in the first place. That's that was actually one of the things that took me the longest. Not not just getting the uh, experience to get 16 strength, but uh, getting enough shards to drop from the beast men in the forest, so that I would get uh, enough to level this up to be as strong as my cane. Because I didn't want to just switch to a weapon that was just like lower level altogether. That just seemed like a bad time. Beware of ambush. You mean that guy? Was that the ambush, or was there more ambush? Now I'm watching out for, like, surprise fire. This is a cramped area. This is unsettling. Oh, more dumb crows. All right. Let's see. That's the button there. <laughs> Between my two hands, I was getting confused about the controls for a little a brief moment there. Come to think of it, the overhead swing of this is actually... should be just as effective at cleaving the birds out of the sky. One of these guys again. Alright. Gotta watch out for surprise bird attacks, but other than that, not a particularly dangerous place to fight them. They're good about making them spawn really far away, where I plant- Ow! Dodge backward did not save me there. Nope. Alright, hey buddy. Just gonna wail on you for a little while, hope you don't mind. It's super effective. More gemstones for me. I see you, birdie. You're not hiding from me. It's not very effective at all. Oh, there's a number of you- Oh god, there's a lot of you. I'm just gonna take my exit. Wow, there's still more. <laughs> when I saw that many, when I saw that many deaths pop up on the screen, I thought that was all of them. I was incorrect. There's so many items around here, and I can't pick them up. So, ooh, bridge going that way, passage going this way. Oh, is this the elevator? This might be the elevator back up. Oh, it's going down. That's the opposite of what I thought was gonna happen. Okay. What is in store for me? Hey, all Oh. No, this is where- we are back here. Was it necessary to give me a shortcut already? We didn't go very far. Oh, well. Any shortcut's a shortcut, I guess. Wait, was there an item? Oh, I know that's- I was just seeing that one, probably. Alright, let's check out this bridge. Hey, guys. How's- oh, god. She's trying to brand my balls off. Ow. The funny thing is, she totally gets a hit in when she's attacking me, but I, but uh, my, my, I have a pretty strong attack coming her way myself, so 
That one pretty much just takes all the health back. Oh, that, that's a bit of a drop, isn't it? How is there even that big of a drop? It's like almost like backlit down there. Weird. You see me, buddy? You noticing me? Hey. Hey, buddy. Nope. Just gonna go behind you real quick. Headshot! Oh. Oh. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. 